Hello, Mr. 0063 back for more I Want to Be the Sublime. Last time we got the uh, eye block on this uh, Sublime climb. So now let's screw up the wall jumping segment. Yay! And screw it up again. So yeah, I am three quarters or three fifths of the way through this screen, depending on which way you want to look at it. Um, when I can finally get up there, I will show you where the wuss save, or point out where the wuss save will ordinarily be that I haven't got. This, I missed it, damn it. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's talk about this uh, moving wall jump bit first. Um, I swear, but just by the, the seriously, even like the five, six attempts I've had so far, that... This, you, I used to be so much better uh, at this um, than, I, than, I, than it currently looks now. I don't quite know what has happened to either my wall jumping ability or the wall jumping in the game or whatnot. I don't really want to lay blame at the, at the game, but I used to be so much better at this. I, I kind of was, you know... When Liam asked me about this, however many months ago or whatever, I was kind of like triumphantly saying, oh, I didn't really find it all that bad at all. Um, and I actually showed showed him some pretty good proof of that by kind of like doing this in a, you know, like second or third go or something, and frequently doing it as well. Not like, you know, having that just that one time as a fluke, but um, for whatever reason at the moment, he does just seem to be falling off the wall jump way too often and um, it's happening all the time in path 3 and uh, yeah I don't quite know what's causing it I really don't see how I could be doing the wall jumping wrong but I mean, look at that he's just, he's just falling off it and uh, ordinarily, I wouldn't, I actually wouldn't even care that this wuss save isn't going to be here. But seriously, if this wall jumping bit is going to be this bad, then without that wuss save, that I'm going to hopefully be able to point out at some point in time soon, this is going to, this is going to kill me. Because I'm going to have to do this 10,000 times. Uh, I, wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> just walk into the tree but yeah seriously this is this is this is not good at all because the, the bit at the top in itself is not so bad I maybe reckon I could hopefully oh my god do it like you know um, one maybe one time in ten or something like that I'm hoping I'm do it you know it's 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 like the first time in, in two or three goes or whatever but the wall jumping is not working properly for whatever reason, and I've got that, finally, gee whiz, right, the wuss save, actually no, it would, wouldn't, it's not here, not quite here yet, oh, damn it, I don't want to be dying to that, um, it's just above that, um, protruding spike, which is, by the way, a new addition, um, this section did not used to have a spike there, um, I'm extremely relieved, um, that the, that the spike is at least protruding, because um, I'm, I was told that um, at one point it was permanently there, just stuck out at its fullest. And if that's the case, then that jump is an absolute bugger. Um, given that uh, it's obviously protruding, I can obviously time the jump, hopefully, such that... Yes. Um, such that I'm obviously trying to make the loop round while the... Don't screw that up. Don't keep screwing that up, for goodness sake. Really? Yes, yeah, so I can time this when the spike is yeah, is uh, is kind of in. Uh, unfortunately, it makes this last jump really annoying. Here would be the wuss save, so here's hoping I do this quite, uh, quite quickly. I'm going to point it out now, because if I, I do want to do this first go, and I don't want to be hanging about. The area to the right, um, although I don't quite fully comprehend it, I must admit, apparently is another clue to an eye block. It's some... It supposedly says spin. I can't even remember how it says spin. Um, some kind of binary code, possibly. Um, I really can't remember, but apparently it says spin. 
uh, and that's obviously a clue to the eye block in the spinny area with the red ball at the end of path three. So again, this is path four. It holds a clue to path uh, to one of the eye blocks on path three. Um, this area, these um, people are going to shoot at me, and they're going to kill me, and that's going to really irritate me as well. So while we're talking about uh, clues, um, I, it occurs to me that I didn't actually refer back to the clue uh, that, that, was, oh, that was specific to the cheese room. Um, it was the Morse code clue at the beginning of part three uh, with the Pong burger with the, yeah, in the Pong area where the top went to Morse code and it said slimy eye. That is uh, to do with the bottom area of that cheese room. Although, obviously, as you as you've seen, it's very finicky as to when the as to when uh, the eye block uh, will rise out of the slime. If it doesn't, then there's not really a lot you can do about it. Um, it's supposed to when the three crystal when you get the three crystals. But uh, yeah, I've said my piece on that, and I don't really want to backtrack on uh, on that right now. Let's concentrate on screwing up the wall jump again and again and again. I'm sure some, most of you, wow, well, if not all of you watching this, can't even, could not fathom my you know, earlier proclamation where I said that normally I don't find this section too bad whatsoever, but something has happened with wall jumping. Either I have completely lost the knack, which, or that something has changed with the, with the, with the gimmick itself. I, to be honest, both are... Both sound really unlikely. I think it's un I think it's unlikely that, that anything has happened to these wall jumps. But so I don't want to blame the game. But equally, I'm fairly confident in my own abilities to the point of view where, you know, I was saying that this section was no problem. How could I have gone from saying that to not getting the not even for landing the wall jump every second go? I mean, how could I possibly have gone? Wow, this is just ridiculous. How could I possibly have gone from a point from a point where I could happily proclaim that I had no problems with this section whatsoever to falling off of it ev ev almost every go? It does not make sense. I cannot believe my skill that skill has regressed, or that I've just forgotten how to wall jump. It doesn't make sense. It really doesn't make sense to me. I swear to God, I showed I showed Liam that I could clear this bit. You know, almost not every other go. Because I'm not going to say it was that frequent, but you know, so so frequently. And now I cannot do it for love nor money most of the time. It does. It's just it's really, really, really irritating. It's like regressing to not being able to walk. <laughs> well, having, yeah, having to learn to crawl and walk again. It's just stupid. And I'm going to say it now. That protruding spike is bloody irritating as well because ordinarily this bit is... is I mean, even though I'm screwing up just, just this loop, these, the, the first loop round jump and the second one as well with the spike. But before, if, if you screwed up the... If you screwed up the the, the the loop round, you would you you just continue next go. There's no unless you obviously land on one of those two spikes that are kind of at the bottom area. But frankly, you should be able to save yourself. But now there is so there was no danger. Now there is a real serious danger every time. If I screw up that loop round jump, the second one, I am almost certainly going to die on that spike because it's gonna it's gonna have stuck itself out. So. This section has become, once I've got past the wall jump, this section has become far more deadly. And given the trouble I'm having with the wall jump, that's so annoying. I seem to be having better luck by letting, letting by falling down the wall jump a bit, a bit further, but... Oh my god, what?! Like down toward the, you know, the lower spike, but that's really risky, because I'm obviously in danger of hitting that spike. 
Although I seem to be having more success with it. But, oh my god, these loop round jumps are, are ridiculous. Because if I screw up, I'm going to die to that second one. And it just means I've got to do the wall jumping again and again and again and again. What? Don't land on the damn spike. That's the edge of the screen, by the way, as well. So, new theory. I think I know why this is causing so many problems. I don't know really why it's... Well, I figured out a better strategy for doing this, at least for me now. I don't know why it's still causing so many problems, but I think I have figured out why... I'm probably going to die here, but uh, if, if... I'm really kind of hoping not... Bugger! Right! Anyway, let's explain. I am rushing right at the start to get on the left-hand side of this. I screwed up there, which wasn't very good because it completely disproved my point. But, there. So that was so much easier. The reason that was so much easier was because I was approaching the wall jump from the left-hand side. Because I think there is something possibly to do with the dominance of the controls. If you hold left and right down, like I'm going to just demonstrate something now, okay? So I'm holding left and now I'm going to press right. I immediately go to the right. If I hold right and press left, I keep going to the right. So with that dominance thing in, in place, it is far easier for me to double jump or to wall jump when I'm approaching it from the other direction. Which also explains why I was having so many problems in the frozen tundra area. Because the wall was approached from this direction. When I changed direction, that was not a good illustration of the point, And I jumped way too early for that to be of any use whatsoever. But the success rate I am having when I am approaching... Or, or, or the wall jump is from the opposite direction is staggering. Which leads me to believe there's got to be something to this. In that, for whatever reason, that was just dumb on my part. For, yeah, but for whatever reason, it's just so much more, or so much easier for me to wall jump from that direction. Now, don't get me wrong, this whole section is still rather tedious. I hate the spike here. I hate these stupid cliff jumps, or these stupid loop round jumps, because I can't get them right. Uh, anywhere near a decent amount of time and the top section is still annoying don't get me wrong with a wuss save here that top section oh no that top section will be I'm pretty confident will be done by now but yeah without it and having to keep doing this all over again my new strategy despite it being somewhat slightly risky to begin with is to rush for the war jump is, is rush for the moving war jump 
jump over it with the uh, the the, the, uh, the very you know that first opportunity I get, which will require that was terrible timing, which will require me to get my first you know wall jump obviously working properly. Damn. Um, so hopefully this one will yeah will require me to get that one sorted out quickly and working. But yeah, once I've got to this side, it's, it's not even funny how much easier that is. So yeah, this is still annoying, but I hope I have at least solved, well not solved, but I've at least come up with a way of making the wall jump section just so much more tolerable. I mean, look at it. It's, it's, it's not even funny how, my, how, how much simpler that is. Not even funny. Keep jumping into that bullet as well, which is really, whoops, <laughs> stand on the ledge and make it uh, stationary without hitting the spike, interesting. Yeah, look at it, look at look at that, seriously, just in this, I don't know however many, uh, however long section uh, part of the video, this is, I must have got up there probably about as, um, or, you know, completed this bit <sighs> almost as many times as it, as it would take me in about five previous uh, recording attempts and uh, you may um, have been paying attention to the death counter yes I'm well aware that skyrocketed up but um yeah well this section is a pain Bloody hell, seriously, the f I will point out now that last little bit is really freaking annoying because you've got such a tight gap and they do, the men do shoot right in that tight gap and you've got to kind of, you almost have to kind of like stop and pause which is really counterintuitive and you just think you just want to leg it the hell out of there but no, on that occasion you actually probably do want to just wait a little bit. Take it all back. That section at the top with the men shooting at you is horrible. I hate it. it. Probably wouldn't be so bad with a wuss save there, but having to keep redoing the wall jumping bit. Although thankfully, once I got round, once I tried that trick of going on the other side, it was fine. I was doing it like 80 to 90 percent of the time. It was ridiculous. And I started to get a bit better at that spike as well, so I was getting lots of goes at the, t at the top bit, but man, oh man. Worst bit of the game so far. Hopefully, there won't be anything more annoying than that. All of that is probably enough for one video. I need a bit of a break. <laughs>